गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ फॉरन पॉलिसी टुडे वी विल डिस्कस डिटर्मिनेंट्स डिटर्मिनेंट्स आर दोज फैक्टर्स बेसिकली विच डिटरमाइन विच कंडीशन विच फैक्टराइज द सिचुएशन काइंड ऑफ the state will be right because as we live in a society in a society your position matters a lot and according to your position you are given respect in the society uh, you are educated you have wealth you have lands you have factories so accordingly you are given the weightage same way it is a country's worth that makes it a big player small player a medium level player on international on international arena so those factors which give edge to a country are known as a determinants so in this video we will discuss the determinants of india's foreign policy india's foreign policy that's me and india's foreign policy determinants or the factors affecting india's foreign policy first factor is constitutional factor article 51 it tells about how india will try to maintain peace in the world order it will coordinate cooperate it will save environment so many factors in are included in this so constitutional factor is very important factor that is one of the biggest determinant india while making its foreign policy keeps in mind its constitution also then number 2 is geographical factors geographically how vast a country is is very important it depends how its foreign policy will be india is a vast country its seventh largest country and second most populated country in the world and uh, it is geographically situated it has in the north himalayas in the south it has indian ocean right it, uh, and one side it has be of bengal other side be of is arab arab sagar that we call it so and we have in in our neighboring countries it also depends geographically they are hostile to you or to friendly to you it depends so accordingly we determine our foreign policy for example pakistan and china are two hostile country to us so Uh, we have to frame our policy for policy accordingly keeping in consideration their hostileness hostileness right then we have uh, economic factor we are one of the largest growing economy in the world and we have biggest population so we are a big market also and big supply of labor also so as per economic factor we are able to make our economic pol- uh, economic foreign policy uh, if you talk about next ideological factor so this is the land of mahatma this is the land of buddha this is the land of guru nanak right so here ideological also we are peace living we are we are helpful so um here what kind of ideology is we follow is that is internationalism peace security to all environment pr- protection foreign level also we have to keep in mind those ideologies also historic factors is the next factor next determinant of india's foreign policy historically we have been you know under british rule almost for 200 years and so we have a close relations we are a member of commonwealth also um historically we have followed certain uh, policy also so we have to keep in mind 
those historical factors while determining our foreign policy. Then moving to the next, we have a military factor. We are the fourth largest military power in the world. And, uh, and accordingly, uh, how uh, powerful we have all the militaries means all the militaries means here uh, means uh, we have uh, actually Indian Navy we have Indian Air Force and then we have Indian Army so it depends uh, strategically how strong we are in all three uh, military sections and uh, accordingly it helps us to be bold while taking decisions in the international arena a personal factor also. Personal factor is the leader's factor. Charisma of the leader. Here we talk about the charisma of Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. He, he was not only the prime minister or the first prime minister of our country. He was also our foreign minister. He had his personal relations with the big leaders of the world. So accordingly he shaped his foreign policy and that helped him and the country also to gain um, its legitimate place. So, uh, same way, it depends further on your foreign ministers and the prime minister what kind of policy it will adapt. Then the next factor is national interest. It is the biggest factor that is kept in mind while making foreign policy. No country can overlook its national interest, interest of its people. And so while making a foreign policy, all have to look into this uh, national interest. This is the biggest factor. Then we have next point that is international situation. What kind of situation is there? It is time of war, it is time of peace, it is time of treaty, time of agreement, time of trade, right? time of uh, situation of peaceful coexistence. So these things are kept in mind while negotiating, while interacting with other countries. Right. Same way, national situations also. National situation is a situation where it is seen which kind of party is in the power, in the center. And at the same time, what kind of situation is there? It is peaceful, nationally, economically happy, people are happy. Right? And, uh, and we are very positive about... Uh, the relationship in international arena. So these factors play uh, important role. Um, these are, are known as the factors or the determiners of India's foreign policy. So these factors, these policies can be further categorized into two. That is, that is two factors. Internal factors or the external factors. We can call it international factors, uh, internal factors, that is uh, national factors, and B, that is external factors, it can be called as international factor, right? So, moving further, uh, so internal factors that reminds uh, the India's foreign policy or any country's foreign policy are historical influence on our foreign policy size and geography of the country, natural resources we have, economically how developed we are, industrially how developed we are, and uh, what military power we have, population we have, kind of population, it means uh, young, old, child, or working population, or dependent population, then good governance and leadership is one of the most important internet factor, because it is on the leadership that determines your foreign policy and takes you ahead in on the stage of the world. Quality of diplomacy, we have a great diplomat having personal relations also in the political organizations, right? Then we have a role of media and think tanks. They are also very important. They play a great role. 
in making countries foreign policy great and helpful and in the favor of one's country then we have international factor that is also known as external factors external factor is uh, in the past it was co uh, existence of two superpower blocks now we seem to be unipolar the world seems to be unipolar then cold war also influence our uh, foreign policy then friendship with the neighboring countries also matters a lot while discussing uh, or determining or making foreign policy neighboring countries we have good relation friendly relation or hostile relationship it also depends on that relation with commonwealth of nations the countries which were which was once under the britain rule help to newly independent nations also and faith in united nations right need of world peace and newly emerging world of afro-asian countries so these are the factors international factors or the external factors that determine one's foreign policy and india's foreign policy we talk about external and internal factors both play quite important role so it was about the determinants of the foreign policy if you want any point in detail just comment in the comment segment take care have a great day Best wishes. Thank you.